Paul here with another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at Termius and how you can generate a new SSH key and remote into new and existing VPS using this app. Termius is available on iPad, iOS, Mac, Linux, and Windows. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and generate our SSH key. For this video, we're going to do demo 2020 and save that. Press and hold on the SSH key, hit edit. We're just going to go ahead and copy the entire key and create our new droplet on DigitalOcean. I like DigitalOcean because it is cost effective and really easy to set up. In the SSH key section, we're going to go ahead and hit new SSH key and paste what we got in here for the name demo 2020. Same with the server name. Add a dollar, a backup is a bargain. Now that we have the IP address, we're gonna go ahead and copy it and go back to Termius. I'm gonna create a new host. The alias will be demo2020 for host name, paste that in there. The default username is root and demo2020 for the key. So we're going to go ahead and try to remote in here. And look at that. We have successfully remoted into our server. Now that we set up one SSH key and can successfully remote into the server, I'm going to show you how to add additional keys. So back to the keychain, we're going to generate another key here. I'm going to do demo 2020 v2. Hit save, go back to this server. I'm going to copy this IP address to speed things up here. I'm going to do demo 2020 v2. Paste the IP address in there, default port. Now for the key, we're going to do demo 2020 v2. And to distinguish this one from the previous one, we're going to do that theme. So we're going to go ahead and try to connect, and you'll see that you cannot. I'm going to hit close. So going back to this server paste this command into the terminal and that will open up all the SSH keys. Go back to the keychain demo 2020 v2 edit and we're gonna get that public key. Press and hold to paste. Control X and Y to save it. Going back to our host section, demo 2020 V2. And we have successfully added an SSH key to an existing VPS. If you found this video helpful, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below.